when I first went to Hollywood, I wanted to be a, a scenic designer or a, an on-set person with a set, a dresser, or someone who could make something look just like someone else wanted it. I got the script. I was in California at the time with my wife. We were just kind of floating around. George Bush, of course, is out of office now, so he even wanted to become a citizen. So we were there for six weeks, waiting for her to become a citizen. And a script arrived from this writer. So I read it, because I was on the road, I had nothing to do for six weeks. I read it, and as I read it, I drove around California with my wife of almost 30 years. And we just drove around, and I read the script, and I started to email him from places like Yosemite or I know, we were all over the place. But the writing was so good that I just continued to consider it and look at it and talk about it, and I started just to put my own experience into my emails to him about me and about that character. I never had to play a character like that, really. Yeah, what have I been doing for the last part of my life? Well, I've been doing this. I've been redoing spaces. I've been making spaces here in Sweden. I did a bunch. And of course, my dad in California, in Ohio, that was like a masterpiece, too, of garden design. But the camera work in that movie was really good. And Nick did a great job with that. He really found an apparatus that worked for him. And it was right. It was an intimate thing. And he got right in, so that's all spot on. And the shots he created were classic, you know, timeless, a lot of them. Uh, you think of Mike walking across that field. So the guys were really interesting to work with because one of them went to Cal Arts and another one was like a genius in Columbus. And they pulled their resources and I don't know, they cut down a bunch of trees or something to make some money to finance the movie. I don't know, it's some weird thing. Anyway, he flew here to Sweden. I'm in Sweden right now in Stockholm. So I said, wow, this guy's intense. And then he wouldn't leave me alone for two days, reading the script over and over and over. And just And every time I, I did a line reading and it felt really horrible, he would just say, oh, that's really good, that's really good. Now, I, I was used to working with like really big crews. One more pressure in a way. When you have like 200 people on set, and you're spending a million dollars a day or whatever. But it was just Mike and, uh, Bushman, sound guy, actress, friend from high school, golf pro at Jack Nicholas's golf course, was like the boom operator for one week, two, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then just, and then just the guy who wanted to punch me, young guy, I, I made him so mad when he, he had to be restrained by three people wanting to punch me and kill me. He plays a bartender in the movie. I won't say his name, just because maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, nice guy, I like him. Some of the best stuff for me was like, right before the laser tag in the movie. Good. Little crew, it shocked me, and $100 a day. First class accommodations, first class people. Bushman's mother, I call her Shemangers. Um Genius, she's great. And he likes his mom, which is always good in my book. Are you going to the store now, honey? Yes. My whole life as an actor, I always had projects like this. I was always designing, building gardens, building houses in Hollywood, Ojai. I was drawn to it because I could, I could actually go inside and have some of my personality boil out. Which isn't always the case when you do a movie like Roxanne. No, I guess I did. Yeah, I did it there too. What am I saying? Okay, a movie like. I don't know. Some other schlock thing. I did Terminator. <laughs> you know, you're just there for a couple of weeks and you just gotta kind of like do what they say. There's no chance to kind of. Well, I, I did what I want in that movie too. Fuck. I did, I mean, 
That's one of my old time best ad libs. When I say to Arnold Schwarzenegger, don't make me bust you up, man. And Jim Cameron said, what, what did you say? I said, don't make me bust you up, man. And then he laughed really hard. He said, yeah, do that again. <laughs> and then Arnold just like, he gave me a vasectomy in that scene, if you remember, right through a sliding glass door. So, but Bushman really let me, but you know, I, I like to call him Bushmanis, because that's his real name. His father's in the movie. He plays a guy in the clothing shop that I say, blow me. That's another nice little ad lib. And Bushman let me paint. He knew what he wanted. That's what I liked about Nick. He knew what he wanted. And someone who doesn't get a lot of credit in that movie, or, yeah, I'm sure they do. What am I saying? They get a lot of credit. Everybody gets credit. But Mike was so fun to work with because he had such a good energy. And uh, Katie, I mean, She's so dynamic, and she's classically trained, and you get a whole nother level there, because I was an art major like Mike in college, and I just came to performing because it was natural for me. It was all new to them, because like the boom operator, for example, he was used to doing this. <laughs> he wasn't a boom operator. He was a pro golfer. That's the funny thing. So it was like fun for me to see everyone kind of being so new to the business when I had already done like 40 movies. Okay. Into this corner I go. These are, yeah. These are like, uh, I got in Dubai. In the buy, in the buy. I got these in the buy. I bought a warehouse in the countryside, about 4,000 square feet, 400 square meters, and it was filled with things like this. These are actually high-end ortals made in Italy, ski boots, up, ski apri, whatever you call it. And these are even. She had these before I knew her. These are made in Italy too, bitch. So we put these on, we go out in the snow, and we look like abominables. I was making a movie once in Peru. What a fucking crazy movie that was. You know, the, the guy was producing, his brother won a, the Nobel Prize for Literature. <laughs> he was kind of like the bad brother. Losa, Losa. I think you recognize that name. We were making like an exploitation movie. Uh, Jonathan Winfrey directed it. It was called New Crime City with Stacy Keach, me and Stacy Keach. Good actor, great guy. Known him a long time. But they had me doing a lot of my own, I did all my own stunt driving actually. There was some stunt driving. And I had this old, I, what was it, a Le Mans or a GTO or something? It was really like, it could have been from Cuba, this car, but it was really hopped up. And I remember I had to do this crossing shot with the car and I had to be going maybe like 35 or 40 miles an hour, which is, you know, and I'm doing it and I go to slow down because I'm going towards camera and there's, and I hit the floor with the brakes and there's no brakes. So the brakes are going, but I know it may be like, I don't know, maybe a hundred meters, hundred yards uh, away from the camera. I'm not going to hit the camera, I'm going to veer up, but I can't stop. So what the fuck am I going to do? And I'm yelling out of the car at that point that, you know, I, I have no brakes, I'm gonna have to crash the car, which, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just crashed the car and then I would have said no brakes and uh, it would have been good for the shot. But here I am waving my arms out, you know, the fucking car's collapsing on me. I brought it to a halt eventually, I had to maneuver. But that's why you have to keep your equipment, you know, top. Even in Peru, because your life is on the line. And Bushman never really put me in jeopardy, did he? Well, he had that stuff outside the bar, tearing out. No permits. No permits to do anything. No permission. Just drive the car almost as bad as Peru. I I'm telling you. This is where I work out of. This, uh, I'm called the Frigi Bud. That's a Swedish term. Because you can, uh, 
build a Frigi Bood. That means a free little building. About 15 square meters, 150 square feet, with no permission anywhere. I was thinking about building one up on the roof here. Okay. 65. Now I'm concentrating. Oh, fuck. Go again. 